Keeping an eye on your health today, and a new solution for curing a skin problem might be in your cabinet right now. British researchers say the herb thyme may be better at treating acne than prescription creams. Of the products they tested, they found it was most effective at killing bacteria that causes pimples. It even outperformed benzoyl peroxide, which is found in most acne cream. A Virginia man is getting his first look at his new face. Richard Norris was severely disfigured in what doctors call a ballistics incident. Monday, doctors performed the most extensive face transplant ever. It took him 36 hours. Doctors gave Norris new upper and lower jaw bones, teeth, a tongue, and soft tissue from his hairline down to his neck. And that team of surgeons may have considered playing some music in the operating room. Doctors in the UK looked into the effects of playing easy listening songs for patients having minor surgeries. They say patients were less anxious about the surgery, which can reduce healing times. This type of music matters. These doctors saw some of their best results when they played songs by Adele. Mm. Who knew, Jenny? Well, because we don't hear her enough on the radio. Exactly. So, yeah. Good point. Uh, hey, the FDA has approved a new laser device that promises long-lasting treatment for cellulite. Ashley Morrison shows us how it works. Marianne Pyland is healthy and fit, but there is one thing she doesn't like about her body. When I see my legs naked or in tight pants, I don't like the way I look. Marianne's thighs have cellulite. She says so far nothing's worked. Of course, I tried all the creams, the over the counter creams, and they didn't really do much, and they're kind of expensive. So she's trying a new laser treatment called Cellulase. It targets the area under the skin instead of on the surface like other laser treatments. Doctors insert the laser through a small incision, heating up the underlying tissue and smoothing out fat cells. By using the laser energy to cut those fibers and melt the fat and tighten the skin, that's how we actually have long-lasting results. Nearly 200 patients participated in the FDA trials for cellulase. After two years, none of the patients reported any side effects. Jennifer Guzman was part of the FDA experiment. She says she couldn't be happier with the results. After it was just very, very smooth. Like it was just very nice. Very, I could sit down. I wouldn't see any bumps. I would stand. It would be all very smooth. And unlike traditional laser treatments that require at least six sessions, cellulase requires only one treatment. One month later, Marianne Pyland is so happy with the results, she's considering using the procedure to treat other problem areas. Ashley Morrison, CBS News, New York.